Right, I finally got my batterizer sleeves. Uh, many days after doing the first uh, discharge test on my Creative Move OR TX FM here, and these are the two batteries that I got. Uh, number three and number two. There they are. So I can use these to uh, do a discharge test on dead cells. Now both of these have been sitting here, they've, they've been fully discharged down until the products stop operating. Identical batteries from identical packs from full um, and let's actually measure them. Because they've had many days to recover, the ionic resistance in them, the chemistry, means that they're actually going to recover. So let's measure the uh, open circuit voltage of these things. As you can see, recovered nicely to 1.34 volts, but that doesn't mean an um, a uh, percentage increase in capacity, okay? It's just the open circuit voltage. You've got to take into account the ESR and everything else. So what we'll do now is we'll um, whack one of these identically discharged batteries that were discharged down to 0 0.9 volts was the cutout voltage of this cell. So most of the energy is going to be used in this. Not that bullshit, uh, you know... 80, uh, only 20% claim that batterizer battery rule have made, which is demonstrable rubbish, okay? 0.91 volts, so most of the energy is taken out of these. These are flat batteries, in quote marks, and uh, we'll whack one back in and see how much extra life we get just letting it sit there, and then we'll whack the other one back in with a batterizer, and we'll see how much, and we'll do the time lapse and see how much time. So that's a pretty fair test for the claim of extra battery life on a dead battery on a typical active electronics uh, product, consumer product like this Creative. If you wanted to see all the others in the pack, which I haven't used, uh, 6.14... Okay, these are, there's some variation in there, but in terms of uh, capacity, they're all going to be uh, identical. Okay, so these are all the ones from the pack. And once again, I will uh, also take one of these and I will uh, discharge it fully from, from fresh with the batterizer in there. And we'll also get a metric on that as well. So this is a pretty... Done. Fair test. Of course, it needs to be repeated a couple of times because there's going to be slight discrepancies in the battery. But anyway, let's whack number two in here. Let's whack number two back with no batterizer. Okay, so that's its open circuit uh, terminal voltage. And let's put it back into here. Here we go. Whack it back in. And we'll see how much extra time we actually get. And I will turn my time-lapse camera back on. I will start her up. And this is all in one shot. So there's no funny business. Not that, God, I can't fake anything. People are going to retest this, okay? So I'm going to switch that on. And this is a flat battery, okay? Flat battery is working. Like, oh, no. No. It didn't. No. I got bugger all extra time. There you go. It really has used. It really does not like that. Nah, it just dies. Okay. <laughs> I thought I'd be able to get something out of it. So much for that test. Okay. But hey, that's engineering for you. I, you know, I didn't know. I thought I'd get maybe an extra five minutes out of it or something like that. Okay. So that's pretty embarrassing. So number two, I don't even need my time-lapse camera here. Okay. So let's get number three which we have a both discharged identically, 1.359. So this one has a slightly higher open terminal uh, voltage, I believe. Let's whack this back in. And if batterizer's claim is true, we should get 800%, eight times, five times. Um, or, you know, at least maybe a few hundred percent. I'd be happy with a hundred percent. I'd be staggered with a hundred percent. Okay. Let's switch it on. Oh, sorry. What am I doing? Oh, sorry. Oh. <laughs> I've got to use the batterizer sleeve. That helps. Damn. That's embarrassing. Okay, I've taken a batterizer sleeve. I've put it on. I haven't actually tried a batterizer sleeve in here yet, but let me measure the open circuit terminal voltage, and it will be 
1.5 volts. I guarantee it. There's no load on here. Hey, oh, that's actually quite high, isn't it? 1.33 volt, 1.533 volts. That's pretty high. But that batterizer actually works, okay? So let's whack it in here. And see, I don't like this because this one has, you'll notice the product has a little spring terminal clip in there, and I'm afraid it will get caught on there. So it might go in once, but I'm afraid that it may not go in multiple. In fact, it's not even going to fit. I mean, this is not a slim fit compartment. This is not a slim fit compartment. And I'm doing maximum extension on that. I've got to force it in. Oh, no, no. Ruined it. Ruined it. I ruined my first batterizer. Damn it. Damn it. It did not fit. It did not fit at all. Oops, um, yeah, I, no, it looks like that spring has come, the spring has sprung right off, and let me get my knife out and try and wedge that out of there, no, I've broken one already, damn, and this is not even a slim fit device, this is not even, oh, yep, yep, broken off. Just completely sheared off. Check that out. Wow. Wow. Look at that. Cleanly. I got to like like those solder joints. They didn't uh, really hold that on at all. So that is it's gone on the ground here. I'll have to find that. You know, it's buggered off. Is it still in? No, it's not still in there. Oh yeah, there it is. It's still in there. It's still in there. There you go. There is the, yep, it did not like that. It was caught on the plastic. So I probably should have put that end in first. Okay, so that one's gone ski. I can probably use that one for my uh, evaluation, um, uh, DC to DC converter characterization testing. Let's try that again, because I want to do this. Okay, I want to do this. I'm still doing one shot here. Let's do battery number three again, 1.357, so it's still all hunky-dory. Let's get another batterizer, and let's try this again, once again, on battery number three. So right there, the fragility of this thing is awful. 1.534 volts, okay? So whether or not they're all slightly out, or whether or not... Uh, that's due to the lower input voltage, i.e. the output regulation's not terrific. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide this in here like this. That end in first. Okay. Oh, no, no, I can't. I can't. No, no, no. Look, it will not fit into there. So the only way I can do it is to go that end first. And sorry, I am not going to be able to fit into this DC to DC converter. I'd have to shave some of the case off. Maybe I'll do that. Hang on. Okay, let's get a bit medieval on its ass, shall we? Can we actually shave some of that off? Hang on, I'll try and get myself some side cutters, because I really want to do this test. I thought this would, uh, thought this would fit. I just assumed it would. But it doesn't. It really did not like that at all. Okay. So there you go. I've really uh, shaved some, uh, shaved the corner off that. Not sure if you can see it. I'll upload this uh, complete video onto my sh second channel. Sorry, the lighting's not best in here. I'm not, I'm in my little uh, cubicle part of my lab. So, that, okay. So we've got our batterizer, new batterizer sleeve. So let's see if it fits now, shall we? Because it certainly did not like that. 1.53, 1, 2, 3, 3, whatever. Okay, so it works as a boost converter. Let's plug it in here. 
and once again battery number three and let's see I've got to put this in end in first it's as far as I can oh ow 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 I'm caught I'm caught shit ah no that just dug right into my finger that just dug right into my finger damn it's gonna bleed nope I haven't drawn blood for batterizer yet oh but I'll tell you what I like this is not a tight fit battery compartment what the? Okay, I'm gonna... I got it! I got it! I think I got it. It is a terrible fit. I haven't pushed it all the way in, but I believe it's making contact. Okay, I'm gonna switch it on. Right, the last one got bugger all. I'd expect this one to maybe do something. Okay, it's on. Hey, it's playing. Okay. So it's playing. How much extra time? Let me start my stopwatch. I'm not sure if you can hear the white nerdy there. But, oh, okay, so it's working. All right. Thumbs up so far. But once again, there could be discrepancy between those two cells. One might have been discharged more than the other. Let's, uh, still going. I will record. Go. Okay. I'm recording. We'll see how long that lasts. All right. It's working. It's going. I will uh, come back and let you know when that has died. But okay, we're getting an increase. So that's, that's reasonably impressive so far. But is it going to last? What did this thing go for? Like five hours, seven hours or something? I don't know. Um, eight hours? Um, yeah, I suspect we're not going to get that full, uh, we're not going to, for a hundred percent, one hundred percent, which is a lot less than their claim, like five times less, um, eight times less, then, uh, then it has to run for another hour. It has to get an hour out of that battery, but it's still going. So, anyway, yeah, but that was a, um, a fail. I broke one off. It barely fitted. Um, and that wasn't very impressive at all. At least I, I guess I have one for, uh, testing an eval now. And they, even though I shaved off the battery compartment on that, it, it really did not fit properly. And I think if I try and take it out, it's going to get these, uh, springs caught on that, uh, battery terminal and it's just going to die. But anyway, it's still going. Okay. But this is only my first, uh, data point, but I'll get back to you. What are we up to now? Two minutes. See ya.